à tous de DDO, attention pour les décomptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcain, allumage VAP, décollage. La propulsion est nominale. And we are off. Galaxy 30, Mission Extension Vehicle 2 and BSAT 4B have started their journey. He's telling us that the trajectory is normal. And we've broken the sound barrier, Damien. Exactly. We are now traveling faster than the speed of sound, which is equal roughly to 1,200 km per hour. And the speed will continue to increase in the coming seconds. And look at that, Ariane 5 is blazing a trail across the night skies at the Guiana Space Centre, heading out over the Atlantic. Everything's going according to plan. Right now, we are using the boosters to get us away from the gravity of our Earth, aren't we? They're doing all the work. Yes, they are doing most of the job because they provide roughly 90% of the thrust today. It is equivalent to 13 jet engines for each booster. And their job is really to push us away from ground and to provide sufficient velocity to the launcher. And we need a lot of energy to do that. Each, propellant, uh, each booster sorry, burns two tons of propellant per second. That's an awful lot. And if you look at the right-hand side of the screen, what you could see there was our distance uh, from the pad. You could see our speed or velocity and our altitude. And you'll see it again in a minute. We can see the trajectory, which is the planned trajectory. There it is on the right-hand side of the screen. Our planned trajectory and the white cross is the actual position of our launch vehicle. Good. He's telling us that everything's going normally and at the top of the screen there you can see our flight path. We are now losing the boosters. They have done their job. They've burnt their propellant. We don't need them anymore. The lighter we are, the faster we go. And if you look at the front, the top of the vehicle, that section containing the satellites, we call it the fairing. What's its job? Its job is to protect the satellites from the outer world. First, at liftoff, because the liftoff generates a lot of noise, so it protects the satellite from this noise. And during the atmospheric flight, it protects the satellite from the friction with the atmosphere, which we call the aerothermal flux. If you look at our altitude, you can see we're 100 kilometers above our planet. That means we've crossed the border with space, often known as the Kármán line. Getting closer now to being able to eject our fairing. That's what it looks like because we don't need it anymore, Damien. We're in space. Yes, exactly. The effect of the atmosphere is now very long. 